Alright guys, welcome to my tutorial on how to burn your own Sega CD games. Um, this is a completely free method on the side of software. You still have to obviously buy your blank discs, your Sega CD, your Genesis, all that kind of stuff. But all you need is your RAR file, which is what you get when you download the ROM. Uh, I'll have links to everything I talk about, the software, the websites to download stuff, everything. I'll have all that in the description. Um, all the places I got the software and everything like that. Um, so when you when you download your ROM, it'll come in this format, and you'll need WinRAR or 7-Zip to open this. Um, those are very common and very popular programs, but they don't come stock on computers. You have to download those. So I'll I use WinRAR, so I'll have a link to that in the description but it will open like this with WinRAR. And what you want to do is keep this open. I make a Sega CD file which makes it easier for me and then I'll make a file for the game I'm doing and for this I'm doing Sonic CD um, since it's undoubtedly undoubtedly the most common game that people want to play on the Sega CD understandably. So we take this and we're going to shift click all of this and just drag it right on over. So now we can close that. And if you download it from Cool ROM, you'll have this README that's just saying thank you for downloading on Cool ROM, blah blah blah. We can just get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. And so you'll see a bunch of MP3 files, def notably starting with two. Um, they will almost always, every single one I've seen, has begun with two and then gone upwards. Because you'll see once we convert this ISO, it'll convert to track one. So now that we have this, we can keep this open. Um, actually, I won't keep it open. I'll close it. We can go back to our Sega CD file. And I have a burn folder where I have all of my programs that I need to, uh, to burn this onto a disk. So what we first need to go into is WinLame so that we can convert our MP3 files uh, into a format that the Sega CD can read. So we want to select all the MP3 files. Uh, this is the wrong one. Sorry. Um, so we want to go into our actual game, uh, which would be extremely helpful. Go into our Sonic CD, get all the MP3 files, uh, which this should only read the MP3 files. Your ISO won't show up on here, so you can just select this all and click open. They'll all show up here. Make sure they're all of the tracks. You shouldn't have any gaps in the numbers. So we want to click next. Change lame MP3 encoder to wave output. This is changing the the file output that the mp3 files will be converted into. We want them to be converted into a wave, a wave file um, and not an mp3. Uh, if they're mp3 the Sega CD will actually read it as a music disc. Output location, just check this use input files folder and then check delete after encoding, overwrite existing files and after encoding close win lane. That just makes everything uh, much more efficient much easier. So we can click next, make sure this is set to 16-bit PCM and Microsoft WAV. We want to uncheck produce raw audio file. We do not need that and we don't need the second one either. So both of these boxes should be unchecked. We can click next and then click play. And so while that's going on we can actually do the next step. We can go into CD image, click this folder button and go to our Sonic CD folder yet again and click on the ISO. We want this to be checked as M1 over 2048 track ISO. Click open once that's selected and all this will come up. This is our folder that we're messing with. This is what we're going to extract it to. So we're going to right click here, click extract tracks. Make sure we change this to our actual folder uh, or else it'll just put it like in your program files and you got to search for it. So I highly suggest doing that. Make, make sure mode 1 is mode 1 over 2352. We'll definitely need that. And then go into default extensions. And mode 1 over 2352, whatever's here, you want to delete that and type in capital R-A-W because we want it to convert to a raw file. Click OK. Make sure everything you have looks exactly like this. And then click Extract. So we'll have a little bar down here. Some games take a really long time. Some games take less than a minute. It just depends on the game you're doing. So this is Extracting. It's almost done. 
Okay, now that's done. That'll pop up. When lame is gone, which means it's done. Now we want to go into uh, Sega QMaker and find our folder. So we'll find Sonic CD and all of our files will come up. All our WAV files, all the way from 2 to 35. And then we have our mode and our ISO, actually, we need to get rid of. So we want to go back into our Sonic CD and delete our ISO. Just delete that. We don't need that anymore. Don't want that in the queue. Um, games I've made with that in it, I, I believe they work fine. Um, but you definitely don't need it. So I'll just take that out to be safe. Uh, I'm not. You never know if it'll be too much and it won't be able to write everything, whatever. So I'm going to click Generate Queue and then Save Queue. Now we're going to go back into our Sega CD folder. Back to Sonic CD. Now we can name this whatever we want. I'll just put Sonic and then click Save. So we're done there. Now we can go back to our Burn folder and go to Image Burn. So now we need to put a blank uh, recordable CD into our disk drive. You must have a recordable or a, a, a CD burner disk drive. Uh, you don't need a DVD burner. Don't worry about that. Um, DVD burners still aren't uh, super common, but almost every uh, modern laptop has a CD-ROM uh, burner in it. You can look. Most laptops have a logo on them that say um, compact disk rewritable or something like that. So we'll just pop that in to our disk drive and click write image file to disk. This will find our disk and we'll click this browse for a file button. Now let's go to our Sonic CD folder and you'll see the only one on here is the Q. Double click that and it'll load up everything here. Now once this is all loaded up this should select the disk. I don't know if you have multiple disk drives this could change but just make sure this is the correct disk and then click this button here that will write it onto the disk. Your buffer will go up and then the complete bar will start to increase as the CD burns. And once that's done, we're good. We can pop it in our Sega CD and play the game. All right, so our Sonic CD disc is just now finishing up. We can see the complete bar just fill up to 100%. It stopped, it'll now eject it. Now we can take this disc out and put it right into our Sega CD. Boot up Genesis. We can look right here. Turn this up real quick. It's booting. See, we got the Sega logo right here. We got Sonic CD. Press start and click continue since I've already played it on here. Wait for it to load. Now you can see it's completely playable. So there you have it. That's how that works. And something I have noticed is that I can't get all ROMs to work with this. However, I can get most of them. Uh, some examples of ones I haven't been able to get to work are Earthworm Jim, The Terminator, and Lunar 1. I've gotten Lunar 2 to work. Um, Lunar 1 won't work, and some others. Sometimes you'll make it and you'll plug it in and it'll just read it as an audio disc. I haven't figured out how to fix that yet, but if I do, I'll update this video so that I can show you guys how I fixed that. But as of now, it's kind of touchy. Some don't work, some do. However, most big games do work. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.